to our Lord God of hosts in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. Our Father, you have never failed us. Lord God of hosts, thank you. Thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The higher one, there's none like you. Father, thank you for today. Glory be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I welcome you to Cross of God Church for all nations. May the God I serve be with you. I want to use this opportunity to thank people, uh, people that have been, I've been seeing your text from Saudi Arabia. Thank you guys. People from, uh, from Afghanistan. Thank you. And people from uh, United Kingdom, also from London. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want to say thank you guys. People in Canada, people in New York. Uh, I'm saying Pastor John, I'm saying thank you. I'm saying thank you to every one of you guys around the world that have been receiving our message. May the God I serve be with you. Hey, sister in Malawi, thank you so much. Sister in uh, South Africa, we say thank you. May the God I serve be with you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome in the presence of God. Thank you. Remain strong in the word of God. The Lord God I serve will strengthen you. Guys in Nigeria, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People in Dubai, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your love. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. I wanted to use this opportunity for the families, people in Taiwan. I, I know God gave us the, the prophecy, told us about it. The tycoon that hit Taiwan. I pray for a lot of people there. There's the, the, also the people uh, in Ethiopia. The Lord showed us about the landslide. Uh, most of them, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May the God I serve continue to protect his children in the name of Jesus Christ. The, the crash that happened, is it the airplane cr crash? That, uh, is it the musicians? I pray in the name of Jesus for their family. I pray for their family in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for listening to me. Thank you. The, the fire that is burning in, in, uh, in California, my Lord and my Father, let it rain, let it rain and quench the fire. Let it rain and quench the fire. My father, as I'm speaking, let the cloud change and begin to rain. Let the cloud, be, let it begin to rain in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it begin to rain in the name of Jesus Christ. Any type, is it tycoon? I'm seeing tycoon also. Tycoon, my father, protect your children, especially the Asian countries. I've been praying for the Asian country. Father, protect them, protect them, protect them in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for Indian, specifically Indian. I'm praying for them in the name of Jesus Christ. God, Jehovah, protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Australia, uh, I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for you guys. I have a, a woman of God in Australia, uh, Apostle Faith. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing uh, like the the, the uh, like flood a lot of flood i see animal underwater that attack a lot like there's a lot of flood my father protect your children protect your children australia i'm praying for you guys i'm praying in the name of jesus a lot of flood in australia my father protect your children protect your children in the mighty name of jesus christ i use this opportunity also to pray for china 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Please do me a favor. Open to your Bible. Open to your Bible. Let's go to the first book of the Bible, Genesis. Let's go and see what Genesis said. What God in Genesis in the beginning said. We are going to Genesis. Are you guys in Genesis? Yes. I'm looking for Genesis. <laughs> are you guys there? Are you guys there? Yes. You guys know the topic already before we start, but let me show you where I'm going to. Let's read it together. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Want to go? Yeah. In the beginning, God created the heavens and what? Verse 2. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And 
the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of what? The water. Then God said, let there be what? Let there be what? Let there be what? And there was what? What did God do? God said, let, let us, let us. Now, to the people arguing about Trinity, this is your answer. When we say Trinity, before I go there, I'm just starting from here. God said, let us. The Trinity that people believe, that I believe, that I've seen, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which is what? One. We say God is omnipresent, omniscience, omnipotent, omnipotent, everything. Everybody will say, yes. Are you sure? Yes. God can do anything. Yes. So people argue this, that God is not one. God is one. God with his word is what? One. God with his word is what? God with his word is what? God with his word is what? Now, today, our topic, you guys know already, the valuable world. Are you guys listening to me? Word of God. Okay, the valuable word. Like word, word. The valuable word that I have been saying. You guys got it? The valuable word of God. Let me put it like that. The valuable. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah. Word of God. Yes. Okay. What is that valuable word of God? In the beginning, when God gave Moses this to tell the people how I created the earth, he said, God spoke. God said, let us, let us. There's an action. What was that action? He spoke. He spoke his word. And the word goes and accomplishes what he said to do. The word that he gave his prophet. He gave his word to the apostle. He gave the word to us today. The word is the one that built. The valuable word is the word that you receive. The valuable word is the word that you receive. If you didn't receive the word, that means the word is not valuable to you. People talk about the word that, okay, I read the Bible, nothing happened. You have to read the word and collect the word. Now, when you collect the word and you begin to, to meditate on the word, we said that word becomes rhema when you speak it out. We tell you when you take the word from the Bible, it's logos. This logos is what you read. But the rhema is what you take in. What you take in is the valuable word. And when the valuable word comes out, it becomes rhema. I hope I'm not going... Are you guys getting what I'm saying? It becomes, it becomes what? It becomes life. The word that you take becomes life. Jesus spoke to them. He said, the word I speak to you is life and spirit. It's, it's life and spirit. It builds. Because his word has been building. He, he created man with his word. You guys want to see this? Okay, let's let me just let's continue. Are you guys ready? Verse 4. And God saw that light that God and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Now, all these actions were carried out by his word. The word of God creates the word of God creates. The word is so valuable. I want to ask you guys something. When somebody insults you, say something insulting. Did they write the word on your body? Huh? Like somebody said you are stupid. Who? Who? Me? You get your character changed in between. You just get like, why would you say I'm stupid? You get really because they send the word. But you guys forgot why you get angry. It's because your, the God that created you made you in his own image. You guys are 
created with word. We are created by word. We are created. The Lord said, let make us made man. With his word. He said, let us make man. And when he said, let us make man, he showed with the clay of the earth. He spoke the word and the clay showed up. And he breathed on that clay. Are you guys getting it? They didn't say God carved image that looks like him. They said God spoke. We use the word every time. We saw the word when Jacob, uh, Jacob was blessed by his father. His father blessed them. Esau and Jacob, they were brothers. But God has said, one I love, one I hate. And the one that now came out was Jacob and Esau. And the guy was not following the ways of the Lord. But God said, I love this one. And at the end, we saw how Jacob became a lover of God. We saw how his life, his life demonstrates, demonstrates who God is. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? If the word of God is being given to you, I told you, take it. Take it. If it's a man of God that gives you the word, hold it forth. The word of God builds. The word of God gives life. The word of God restores. You tell somebody to bless. You tell somebody, by this time tomorrow, this is what will happen to you. You didn't go there. You spoke the word of your father. You spoke the word of your creation. Your creator. That is how he made everything. It's my word. What is so valuable? We take the word. Okay, let me tell you. This is, please, everybody, we use this a lot. I love you. <laughs> say it again, say it again. I love you. He said he loved me. She said he loved me. She loved me. Huh? She loved me. Eh? Abita said she loved me. <laughs> said he loved me. Eh? He said, Tim, did you, you are telling me that you love me, huh? <laughs> you love me. He said, Daniela, I'm telling you I love you too. <laughs> I love you. I'm telling everybody in the church I love you. It means a lot to you because it's the word of truth. It's confirming what is in my heart. He's confirming how I feel about you. The word is valuable unto you. I spoke the word, it's valuable unto you. You pick the word and you begin to use it because you know I've told you that I love you. If I didn't tell my wife that I love her, she wouldn't marry me. So she didn't even, he didn't even tell me that. He no, I have to say I love you. I spoke the word. And she took the word as a valuable word to, to herself. The same thing when a true man of God gives you the word. Or God gives you the word in the dream. Take it. Take it. God told me that he lost me. I asked you, I said earlier, I said, if God, if somebody came to you and said, you know you belong to God. How does that make you feel? You feel so happy. You don't ask if you are going to hell again. No, because somebody came to confirm that you belong to God. He told you that you belong to God. And demon said, this one belongs to God. Say, so, oh, I know. You don't ask, oh, it's my life. Am I saved or I'm not saved? No, it's not in your dictionary. Why? Because you know you belong to the Father. The word, we take righteousness, we take holiness, we take the character of God. Why? Because the word unto us, we have received it. We pray for people, straight for time, sometimes laying of hand, sometimes when we speak, we say, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. The only thing we see, we see the action. When we see the action, we begin to see. We begin to see the action. And when we begin to pray, we begin to manifest what is said unto us. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? We begin to manifest this truth. Are you guys getting it? So when they give you word, husband and wife, you guys fight. Said, 
Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You don't understand. He said this to me. He said, I'm, 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 not, I'm not worthy to be his wife. You see? He said, what? He said that to you? Huh? Okay. You get that? How can he say that to me? See? You said that to me. You said, ah, you said, you guys exchange word. And you guys are mad with each other. Because the one that created you, created you with what? His word. I said, when somebody called you stupid, they didn't write it in your head. Why do you get mad? Why do you react to word? Say, look at what he just said to me. Imagine me, 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 me. I have PhD. I have this. He's telling me. He's telling me that I'm dumb. Uh, dumb. That I went to university. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know how many degrees I have? I have PhD. I have. I'm a professor in physics. I'm a professor in science. I'm, and he's calling me that I'm dumb. That I don't know how to put one plus one. Can you believe that, idiot? Word. You react to word. The only thing I ask you is the same way you react to those words. React to the word of the Lord. Now, if you are taking it from the scripture, take it, meditate on it, brute on it with the Holy Ghost, speak it out as Rebbe. It becomes life to you. The valuable word, I told you, comes two ways. Two ways. Two ways. <laughs> two ways. <laughs> two ways. It comes two ways. It comes by the word of the Lord to you. It comes by from the scripture. Somebody said, oh, I've been, I've been going through this. I said, oh, open to Psalm 119. Take part of one, uh, from 119, take from verse 6 to 7. Read it. Why do you think I'm doing that? Because I want you to take that word. Value that word. Meditate on that word. Bring it out because the Holy Spirit has brought on that word and it becomes life unto you. It grows. It grows. It grows. It grows. Every time you are blessing a child, blessing a child, blessing a child, that child might not be following you, still stubborn, you still hit her sometimes. But you go, you bless them. Say, so bless, bless. You know what you are saying. You know that every time you are saying that word, it goes. It is accomplishing things. It's accomplishing many, 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 many things. And as it's accomplished, you might not see it that time. But later, when people start talking about it, oh my God, is that your child? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so humble. Oh my God, it's so lovely. Oh my Lord, is blessed. You have been in the secret. In the secret. Let me show you something. Let's go to Corinthians. Chapter 9, verse 5. First, 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 first. Yes. Huh? Huh? Oh, that's how you see me. Call. Call. Come and check. Come close. No, no, no. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, so stand there. Can you see me very well? Okay. Yeah, I'm overheating. Over. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Yes, she's seen smoke. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. That's why she's seen blurry. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I know, just don't worry. I just wanted to confirm. Are you still seeing me like that? Don't worry, it will be all right. If I finish preaching, you will see me normal. <laughs> Hey, it's like that. I know. There's a cloud. There's a cloud. I'm not too shining. Wait, just wait. Is good? Yes, good. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> it happened. The Lord wanted you to see that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the fog will will come like that yes 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 okay first corinthians chapter 9 verse what five. verse 5 what did he say he said do we have no right to take what along 
a believing wife, as do also the other apostle, the brother of the Lord, and what? Cephas. Did you guys understand what I just did there? I'm reading. I'm reading what? You guys are not answering me. Huh? What did I say? First Corinthians, what did I tell you guys? Nine five. What did I just read? I said nine five. Did you guys understand it? Okay. First Corinthians chapter nine verse five is a question. I'm showing you word. You guys, I'm trying to explain things to you. Let me read it again. Do we have no right to take along? A believing wife, as we do also, also the other apostle, the brother of the Lord, and what? Cephas. Verse 6. Or is it only but Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from walking? Verse 7. Whoever goes to war at his own what? His own expensive. Who planted a what? A vineyard and does not eat of it fruit. Or who tend a flock and does not drink of what? The milk of the flock. Do I say these things as a mere man? Or does not the law say, say the same also? This is a question. I said I want to tell you this one. Let me open it up. Now, this we are, when they were moving, what should they do? How will they walk? Now, the word was given to them. And this word that was given to them was also in the book. It was also in the law. And he spoke the word to them. And they are like, what? 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 What, what are you saying? And he said, even the law confirm what I'm saying to you. Are you guys getting it? I hope I'm not going too deep. This is the word, a valuable word. That is what I'm trying to explain to you. This is a valuable word unto them. He was explaining to them. They were asking questions. And he was explaining to them that this is what is going on. I'm not just saying this word. It's from the logos. And now it has become rema unto me to say it to you. If only you can receive it. They said, what? How can we receive those type of words? And he said, even the law confirms what I'm telling you. Are you guys getting what I'm trying to say? It's like, okay, maybe it's too... Let's go to John. Let's go to John. John, the book of John. John chapter 7. Are you guys there? Yeah. I want to show you. I've read this before. I want to show you this. So you guys will get how the word of truth is 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 Jesus spoke the word and when he spoke the word let's go to John chapter 6 John 6 Are you guys, I'm going to say some, you guys will see what I'm trying to say, the valuable word, what he told them. This is Jesus. The other one was Paul talking to them. Now, this is Jesus. Hear what he told them. Now, we are reading from what? Let's read from, uh, from 65. Chapter 6, verse 65. Therefore, 
Paul, I have said to you, word, he spoke, oh, therefore, I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by what? My father. My father. Verse 66. From the time many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we do go? Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the what did he say? Please read it. You have the word of what? First of all, he says, Where can we go without you? We cannot go anywhere. He's given that that's the valuable word. He knows that the Lord has the valuable word. When the Lord gives you the word, take it. And I told you there's two ways to get the word. From the logos to you. And from you, it becomes rema. Logos goes to you and it comes out as a rema. And as it comes out, it becomes a valuable word. In you, the Holy Spirit is hovering over the word. You have been meditating on that truth. The Lord said to me, I will be a pastor. The Lord said to me, this one, if it's God that gave you the word. Now, I said sometimes people can not tell you, people want to tell you what you want to hear. And some people take it and get angry with God. You understand? Somebody, somebody asked me one day. He said, he's a, he works for the airline company. And he said, Somebody told him, <clears throat> permit me to use this word, permit me. Said a pastor told me that I'm, I'm going to be a pastor. I said, okay. Then he, he went and come back and said, so what did God say? I said, why did you ask me? Is that man not a pastor? He said, I know that you're a true prophet of God. What did God say? I said, no, God did not say that you're going to be a pastor. You're not a pastor. That in your work, you're going to be a higher in that place you become higher but you you'll be a member of the church that help a lot and that's where God want to use you so the pastor that said I'm gonna be a man of God is he lying I said I don't know but what I know is what I told you ask me and what I heard from the Lord is what I'm giving you the word so he, he took the valuable word from me and right now he's at the top let me just say that. He's at the top. So I'm saying this to you. That when you grab the valuable word. And it comes from, word, from God. Take it. It's that you take it from the scripture. Which is the logos. And take it to yourself. And brood on it with the Holy Spirit. Then out of you comes out what? Rema. And it becomes what? That word of life. That word of life he creates. He creates. So when the Lord said you are going to, this is how your life will turn out. Meditate. Speak the word in the morning. The Lord said this. And you begin to say the word. Is it not written in, in the word? In your Bible. Let me even use this. In the Bible. In my Bible. In your Bible. That he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. Yeah. He's there. Yeah. That is what you carry. You take it. God, you said it. You said you will reward faith. I didn't say you are faith. And you said you will reward those that come to you. And you go there. Permit me, let's go there. Let's go there. Hebrew chapter 11. Let's go to Hebrew chapter 11. Are you guys there? Hebrews 11. Are you guys there? Are you sure you are there?
Are you guys ready? Ready? This is the word of God. Let's read Hebrew uh, verse 5. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not what? See death. And was not found because God took him. For, the, for he was taken. He had what? This testimony that he what? Uh, 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 uh. He said he has this testimony. What was the testimony? He spoke the rhema. He spoke that word that was given to him. The Lord told me that I please, I please him. Like what? Yes, he pleased God. That was the testimony. He pleased God. He told me he, he spoke it. And the Lord took him. Because God said he is a rewarder. Of them who diligently seek him. Now let's go and read it together. Verse 6. Are you guys ready? He said, but without faith it's impossible to please him. For he who what comes to God must believe that he is. That he exists. That he is. And that is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hey, that means you are speaking that word. The word that was given to you. Let me give you an example. Listen in the Bible. Moses came to Pharaoh. And he said, Pharaoh, the Lord God I serve, the I am that I am, said you should let my people go. And Pharaoh said, I am the bright and morning star. I am this, I am that, I am that, I am. And Moses said, if you don't do that, I will do this. What? Moses, we grew up together. You want to tell me that you have, become, you have become a Christian now? We know what we did together. What are you talking about? He said, ah, the Lord God that sent me said, no, let my people go. Let me show you an example. This is my stick. Let's throw it and see. Ah, what? Moses, you have become a magician. You are turning stick to, to, to snake now. Hey, call me my magicians. Guys, put out your stick and show him that you, you guys can do magic. And they put up. And this, the Bible recorded that the snake began to swallow those snakes. After I finished swallowing the snake, the Lord spoke again. And Moses hold the snake and it became a stick. But remember, the Lord spoke to Moses. Said, are we hiding his heart? Why do you think that God said that? God wanted to show that he is God, that he can do miracles to help Moses in the promised land, to, to push people that he was leading. I believe Moses would have been angry. God sent me. And the Bible recorded how they spent days and miracles was happening. And from there, the Lord sent manna, the same fire that is protecting them by night is a hindrance to the Egyptian that was running after them. The same water they cross. They cross the water. People fell inside and died. It was it five years ago, how many years ago, that they found all the whole knives and uh, shade that they saw in that Red Sea. They started digging and started seeing all those things. So people that don't believe that it happened, they, now they have a place. You can go and see the sword and everything. They have it. The Red Sea, where they saw the whole thing, where they cross, is, is existing. The valuable word. The word was given to Moses. He went to Pharaoh. The word, he took that word, the valuable word from God, and he used it. I'm pleading with you, those that are listening to me, you that are here, take the word that is being given to you. Take it. Immediately they said, this is the word. And the word is being given to you. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I will run with the word. That's what I do. I run with the word. You said it. Now it's like, oh, is it true? Yes. You guys, I've, let me even use myself as an example. Anytime I prophesy, you guys hear me say some things before I start teaching. You heard me say, I see, I see, I see, I see. And I begin to see it. And you guys will see on the news. Now, oh, this is what pastor said. This is what he said. This is what he said. Now, 
I'm taking the word. It's a valuable word unto me. And I'm saying it out. It has its own life. So the same thing. The whole earth was built by the word of God. I told you. The, one of the things that I, we found out together. All, we all find out that. God told the earth. He created heaven and earth. He told the earth to produce his own animal. Produces what? Animals. What? So the earth produces its animal. That is why we don't see animal in mass and all the whole planet if we are going there. There's nothing. Because the earth, the Lord told the earth to do that. That is why I told you. Anytime science have gone far, we have tried. And we take the heart. The heart of a pig. Is it the heart of a pig? A heart of a pig. And we want to transplant it. The person will last for some days. And it will die. Why? One has the spirit. And the animal does not have. It's created from the earth. So it does not match. It doesn't match. No matter how they try. It gonna, it's not going to work. Except God is a liar. But he has been proving it from yesterday, today and forever. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Life is in the spirit. Life is in what? In the spirit. The word of God was spoken in the spirit. The word of God was spoken in the spirit. They said, the Bible said what? The spirit was hovering over the earth. Was creating. The spirit, can you see the spirit? No, but you can see the action. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Are you sure? The valuable word, when you receive the word of God, hold it, speak it forth, speak it to your life. Even though people are not saying it, speak it, speak it, speak it forth. Don't stop. People are laughing at you. Speak it, speak it. I told you about Cross of God Church for All Nation. You guys know the story. The word gave me, the Lord gave me the word, and I followed the word. And I began to do what God said. And the name came, and we used the name. It's the spirit that giveth life. The word you speak, it's brute from you. Don't see us, don't let your situation now determine who you are. Uh-uh, 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 no, 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 no. No. Tomorrow is very, very pregnant. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is so big, it's very pregnant. Very, there's a lot of things in tomorrow. Tomorrow, very, very, you don't know what will happen. There's a man that won the lottery recently. So he was explaining what happened that night. How he was trying to get a sandwich. And he saw the, the, the money, it has $5. Then he took $2 out of it and buy and buy the lottery, the Powerball, and eat. Then just forget about it. And he came back to the place, and it was like, I don't have, he was trying to check the coin. He had some coin to buy another sandwich. When he was checking, uh, he now said, ah, I bought this, and he gave them. And the thing began to sound. I'm saying this, there's a lot of things that happen in a second, in one second, one second, things that happen. You see a normal place tomorrow, you see this level. It, it is too big. The word of God, speak the word of God to your life. Say, oh, because I'm like this today, tomorrow I'm, no, no, no. Tomorrow is too big. Tomorrow is very, very, very big. Very, very big. Very big. <laughs> I will say this on air. It's so funny. Somebody, somebody sent me my picture. A picture of, and this picture, I believe I was 17. And we wanted, we wanted to go and look for a job. And we got in a, in a fish, fishery company. So we got there, all serious. And, and the man looked at us. I remember we are four of us. Look at us. And said, where, how, how do you have, we said, this is what he told us. He said, where did you get these skeletons from? 
I said I need people that will, will work for me. And you went and bring skeleton. That's how slim we are. So I look at the pictures. When I saw the picture, and somebody called me and said, Oh, Moses, you are getting too fat. I'm like, really? Tomorrow is very, very pregnant. Tomorrow is very, very, very big. Speak the word. Speak the word. When you speak the word, the word is so big. So big, the word create the earth. Take that word. A word that is being given to you. When a man of God is given to you, or you read it from the Bible, take the word and begin to root on that word. Begin to tell, your, tell yourself. And you begin to tell yourself. They say, what is the secret of life? I said, the secret of life is in the Bible. What is that? The word of God. That's the secret of life. I said, what? You want the secret of life? In the Bible. So, in the Bible. Anything you want to see, Go there, you will see it. And your situation, you are not the first person. Oh, man, I've so seen. I'm a sinner. If I go to church, God will be mad. Oh, then why did Jesus come? All those people, if you read the Bible, you see people that have seen, people that have gone away, that have come. <laughs> the Lord talk about the prodigal son. Why do you think that the story came to the Bible? It's there for a reason. He's there. Paul that preached the gospel to the whole world. Paul speak the gospel. What happened? You guys know the story of Paul. You know the story. You know the story of Peter. Speak the word. But the word of God was given to Peter. Even Peter. He told Jesus, told Peter. He said, Peter. He called Peter in his full name. He said, the gate of hell shall not prevail. You will be the head of the, you, you will be the one leading the church. <laughs> me, me, the same me, Peter that after he spoke the word later, denied Jesus. But the word was spoken to him. He still came back. Even though Paul was operating already, Paul was still there to go to him. And when he went to him, he came with two people that are unbelievers. They came to him and said, this man knows Jesus better than you. And what did, what did Peter say? Peter said, the spirit that dwells in Paul dwells in me. Confirm everything that he's saying. Why? The word is created by the spirit. The spirit over the word. He creates everything. Why not take the word of God? Take it. Take the word. Read it. And take it. Take it. Said my life is going like this. The key is here. The key, just take it and begin to take it. Every morning, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. <laughs> ah, the lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I know who I am. Greater is he that's in me, is in me than he that's in the world. Even though you don't have the spirit of God, because you begin to speak his word, it carries you to where the spirit of God is. They will lay hand upon you and you receive the spirit of God. We talk about Apollos. Apollos was arguing, arguing with Paul. But the story changed. As he was still confessing Jesus, he was saved. But at the end, the Bible recorded, they called him aside. And they pray on him and said, receive that spirit. And everybody start calling him a Christian. He is a Christian. He is a complete Christian. The same thing, begin to speak. It doesn't matter how you start. Begin to speak. You are not seeing it though. Don't stop. Speak the word of God. Speak the valuable word to yourself. Don't fear. Don't say, oh, I'm blaspheming. No, speak the word. Speak the word. The Bible told us about it. Is it Nicodemus? Was it Nicodemus? What is the name of the man that was on top of the tree calling Jesus? What was his name? Yes. Huh? Yes. Is it Zac Zacchaeus? Yes. That's his name? Yeah. Okay. That was on top of the tree and called Jesus. That's his name. What, what, what did Zacchaeus did? You guys are not talking. What did Zacchaeus did? Zacchaeus called out to Jesus. If he didn't call out to Jesus, Jesus will not go to his house. 
He spoke. Please, I plead with you. Speak the word. Don't be afraid. In your room, speak. Speak it. Nobody's hearing. Do it regular. If you want to try God, I'm ask, telling you guys, this is reality. Anything you want, any change you want in your life, please, I'm giving you this. Everybody that's here, if you want to dear God, I'll, I'll tell you, do it for two weeks in your room. Say that word and go outside. Say it. Let me give you an example. In your room, if you think I'm lying. Every day when you wake up in the morning, go come anywhere in your room. Say where you pray. Or just say, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. Stop. That's all. Don't do anything. Go out. Do it for two weeks. If somebody will not tell you on the road that you are beautiful, call me a liar. Say it, please, just try it. I want you to do it. Every day you woke up, just in your room, where you, where, you, where you talk, just say, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. That's all, just say, I'm beautiful. That's your prayer. Thank you, Jesus, I'm beautiful. Go out, somebody will come and tell you. Say it. Somebody, the Lord will confirm what you are saying in the room. And you're like, oh my God, you look so beautiful today. Say, ah, me. <laughs> Thank you. And when you are saying thank you, you remember what you have been doing in the room. The Lord told you, he said, when you pray in secret, I will answer. Everybody will hear that I answer. I'm telling you the same thing. That is the valuable, valuable word. You have it. You don't know how. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible said what? Life and death. Do I say what? You guys are quiet. Are you guys tired? Are you tired? Okay. Life and death dwells in what? In what? Please answer me now. Life and death dwells in what? Please say to me. Life and death dwells in what? Are you sure? Are you sure? Then speak it. Speak it. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I worship you. I exalt your name. Oh Lord, my Father, thank you for your word today. Thank you, Jehovah. You have sent me to speak your word. And I spoke it. Lord Jehovah, open your heart to receive. Those that are watching me in the name of Jesus Christ, we are so ever they will see this video in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those people in Canada in the name of Jesus Christ. The fire that is burning in Canada, I put an end to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let rain begin to fall in Canada. Let rain begin to fall. Let rain begin to fall. Let rain begin to fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody gave me a request to do. I'm going to say this on air. Our Father never fails. I'm going to pray. So if you are watching me, Somebody wanted to buy a house and he said the rate is 7% or 7 right now. He said I should ask my father to bring it down. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God of hosts, I'm bringing the price, the, the, the percentage, the red percent, did I pronounce it right? Red percent, we are bringing it down. We are bringing it down in the name of Jesus Christ. We are bringing it down in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm also bringing the gas price down also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, thank you because you are God who never fails. Everlasting King, let it start from this week. Let the price begin to go down. Let it begin to go down. Let it begin to go down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let that price begin to go down. That rate begin to fall. Let it begin to fall. Let it begin to fall. Let it begin to fall. Father, thank you. Father, you have given me the word. I've, speaking, I've, I've spoken the word out to, 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 to the Air in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it go and accomplish what it's said to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall stop the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for countries in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Lebanon. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a shell going to Lebanon. A shell. Boo, boo, boo. Like bomb. Like another country sending. Is this is it Israel sending sending missile to that place? Father, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for India and I pray for them also. I pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Thai, 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 Taiwan, Taiwan, Thailand in the name of Jesus. I pray for them. Father, protect your children, protect your children. I pray for Philippines, Philippines, Philippines. I pray for them. Father, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, protect your children. I'm seen in Philippines. This is too heavy for me to see on air. I'm seeing this demon has two sides. And this demon, it changes from female to male. It changes male to female. It's a demon 
is, in, is, is changing people, this demon is causing it. A man will look at himself and say, I'm not good enough. I want to become female. I talk to you, demon. You can hear me. Le kata virne si kala brondo si feredi anta enki aku kafari eruta salaya latufa si kala prinata. Leave the children of God alone. Leave them 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 alone. Bredi da da rufa kranian seke bala ata dia mas kafredi le kante fira. Leave them alone. My father, my God, I pray for, for Europe in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Europe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for UK in the name of Jesus. London, I'm praying for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, I see, I'm saying this again, I'm so glad, I'm so, I'm seeing people, these people, I'm seeing you guys, you guys are, you guys are winning so, I'm so happy. The spirit rejoice, the heaven rejoice. If you see this video in Turkey, I'm I'm saying I'm rejoicing with you. I'm seeing I'm seeing super 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 Christians. You guys are so full of the Holy Ghost. You guys are full of the Holy Ghost. My Lord and my Father. Ah, Paria Kasatra. I rejoice. I rejoice. Heaven rejoice. I'm seeing you guys super Christians. I'm seeing you guys in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my Father. Paradia Katole brothers of Troske. Rigado se mi antarazatraska. La brothers of Traskaba. I will know you guys. I will know you guys. I will know you guys. I will come to know you guys in the name of Jesus Christ my Lord and my father I'm seeing you guys winning souls for Christ my God and my father protect you in the name of Jesus Christ protect may the God I serve protect you in the name of Jesus Christ you guys are strengthened and, and bold every day to speak the word of truth you are winning lives the God I serve is rejoicing for you is smiling my Lord and my father is strengthening you guys in the name of Jesus Christ thank you oh Lord my father the country of Turkey I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of of shaking a lot of shaking this shaking and the, the the spiritual this 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 these are the spiritual spiritual giant coming up maki paruse fredesete in kala kruda sika these are christians they have so soaked in the word of truth in the name of jesus christ oh paradia satras kaba they are getting enlarged they are enlarging enlarging in the name of jesus christ these are christians these are christian in the mighty name of jesus christ father i pray for state here in the name of jesus christ father we pray for the heat wave in the mighty name of jesus christ father i see i see flood in a particular state in a, I'm seeing a state with flood, flood, flood. I see trees, 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 three, three, like a tornado, uh, uh, storm, 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 storm. It's going to be on the news. Storm, storm, trees falling, trees falling. My Lord and my Father, I see three on top of a house. My Lord and my Father, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jehovah. Thank you for United States in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, thank you for leading us. Oh Lord, our Father, you never fail us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. I want to use this opportunity to thank those people that has been allowing us to share our video on their platform. Thank you, thank you. May the God I serve be with you. I pray for each and every one of you. May the God I serve. Bless you, bless you in abundance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I will see you guys on Friday. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember something. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We, our program is coming up in August. And our video, our flyers, you'll be seeing our flyer out. Our flyer is out. Where is it? Our flyer is out. And you'll be seeing it. People in Las Cruces, people in New Mexico, uh, people that are coming from... California people that are coming from anywhere you are coming from we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ and our our website is on now gcg uh, cgc.com uh, cgc is coming up and also 